everybody's gonna jump for joy. Come on. Pigeon's gonna run to him. Come on without. I'll tell you what I'll do for everybody at home, ladies and gentlemen. How about the Alan Price set like this? Vietnam War has done is that it has brought hundreds of new people into politics. People who because of their attitude on the Vietnam War have developed critiques of the establishment and state structures of their own societies which make Vietnam possible, which will make future Vietnams possible inside Latin America. I think our, all our society is run by insane people for insane objectives. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. <laughs> I shall not see, and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. Like anybody, I would like
like to live a long life, longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Well, I think the country made a mistake when they killed Dr. King. Uh, it would have been far better if they'd killed Rap Brown or myself because then they could say to black people that uh, we're preaching guns and uh, he who preaches or who lives by the sword will die by the sword. But they couldn't do that for Dr. King because he preached love. Uh, so when they killed Dr. King, they just opened up the eyes of uh, a lot of black people who were afraid to pick up guns, but now they will pick up those guns. Step inside, love. Let me find you a place. Where the curves of the day will be carried away by the smile on your face. We are together now and forever. Come my way. Step inside, love. And be step inside, love. I want you to stay. The discrimination and the deprivation the sense of alarm and of resentment lie not with the immigrant population, but with those among whom they have come and are still coming. What's the ugliest part of your body? What's the ugliest part of your body? is France from civil war at the moment? Oh, very far, because to have a civil war, you have, you need two parties in the population, and there you have not You have on one side the police, and on the other side the population, so you won't have a civil war. And how do you hope it will all end, eventually? I, I can now see that it can end in the best way with a new uh, government. But I think that the people have learned that 
they can change something if they go in the street or in the factory. This is important. <laughs> transmitters that they had before. There were a lot of studios in various parts of the country. They probably lost their center, the, the broadcasting house in Prague, but they're still managing to use the equipment which they had before.
her hand and she leads you to the river. She is wearing rags and feathers from the Salvation Army counter, and the sun pours down like honey on our lady of the harbor. And she shows you where to look among the garbage and the flowers. There are heroes in the seaweed. There are children in the morning. They are leaning out for love. Um, had censorship for 230 years and suddenly that's all gone and we can march boldly on into the second half of the 18th century and people are beginning to take advantage of an astonishing new liberty we can actually talk about things and people with the same freedom that you can in magazines and books
friends of mine have passed me specially to give to this meeting. The first is from Richard Attenborough. Surely those in authority must now know of the millions who are sickened and horrified by the continuance of this monstrous war. The second message is from Sidney Lumet, the American film director. He says, if America is to return to what she hopes to be, she must get out and now. I have now ordered that all air, naval, and artillery bombardment of North Vietnam cease as of 8 a.m. Washington time, Friday morning. I have reached this decision in the belief that this action can lead to progress toward a peaceful settlement of the Vietnamese War. like to say that the Protestants and Loyalists of uh, this province have demonstrated their willingness today to take their stand in defense of their heritage. And we have done violence to no man, but we have sought by all constitutional means to defend what we believe is our right and our wonderful liberties which we have as promised. Come to twist. 